Hi, Bob. Hi, Veronica. It's great to see you guys. It's great that we can be together all through the magic of the camera through the whole great California state. Good morning. My name is Carlos Alorzano. I am the CEO of the Hispanic Chambers of Commerce of San Francisco. I'm also a business owner with Multivision Latina, a business consulting firm and public relations, and also the chair for the California Hispanic Chambers of Commerce Northern Region. We are here in the heart of the Northern Region in the beautiful city by the Bay, San Francisco, California. And the Northern Region is composed from 15 Hispanic Chambers of Commerce. As you know, COVID-19 has greatly impacted all the Latino businesses that we have in our area. And the problem we have with that is that majority of the businesses we have are businesses that are served to the people on the outside. So all those are face-to-face, -face, so that we were really greatly impacted by the COVID-19 on that. Uh, for me, it has been really impacted. I pretty much lost 75% of my business. What it did is, at least in San Francisco to begin, we were over 25% business that closed permanently. But not only that, the wineries that we have in Sonoma and uh, Napa and Solano and other areas have, were the, one of the most impacted because they have a double uh, issue to face. They have COVID-19 and they also have the fires. As you know, we have a lot of fires over here in the area, and we lost easily, easily over 15,000 houses, and that's not even counting how many businesses we have. So we have new, new uh, rules in place, new laws. We have to cover our faces with a mask. We have to keep the social distance. But more important than that, you know, thanks to the partnership with the California Hispanic Chambers of Commerce and the SBA and the SBDC, that means the Small Business Development Center, we were able to work with a, sm a strong team of Latinos to support and helping them, guiding how to do businesses uh, with the loans. We also were able to make an impact with the uh, legislators. So they were able to provide some of the uh, initiatives that are affecting a small business in our favor for this time. So it's, it's a lot to do. We still have a long way to go recovery. It's still a new normal, but to us, COVID-19 has been devastating. Uh, the fires that we have in our areas have been devastating. The smoke affecting the health. But as I say, we're strong and always siempre palante. I just told you about how the business are being impacted on that. But that also has a big repercussion with the Hispanic Chambers of Commerce and with the Metropolitan also. But in our case, with the Hispanic Chambers of Commerce, we lost a lot of revenue because it's no renewal. And in some cases, we also say, forget about the renewal membership. And the more important part is that we're still with all that working from wherever we work at home or however we need to, we are always supporting the small businesses. So no matter how impacted is the chambers, you know, we all are helping providing services, providing information, uh, referrals, more important, advocating for the small businesses, but also creating ways of uh, teaching them how to get into the social media, how to do e-commerce, how to uh, list your business, and, you know, getting all the corporate partners that we have, helping the small businesses to survive and to grow again. So it's really important in that direction that we keep providing those services no matter what. This is what we need to understand now. All the Latinos businesses have to join together. We have initiatives that we have to take care of. We have to support each other. We have to buy from each other. We have to promote our Latino local businesses. And on top of all, remember, you need to vote. Because when you vote, you make a difference. And we need to be counted. We need to be counted in the census. We need to be counted in voting. We need to be counted in doing business. It is always together that we're going to make the difference. Thank you all.